Hello. Hello, hello. What's hello. up? What is up? Yeehaw! How's Austin Cooper? Yeehaw! Coming at you live from Austin, Texas at Consensus. It is an awesome, awesome Thursday here. Uh, kicked it off with some golf and, uh, you know, now walking around, talking to people, doing conference things. It's, it's been excellent so far. How are, how are things going in Nashville, boys? You know, it's, <clears throat> Nashville has a lot of similarities to Austin. Um, but things are good. You know, it's raining, but uh, it's still Nashville. It's not as weird as Austin. It's still Nashville. Got to keep it weird. <laughs> well, again, thank you everyone for being here. This is our Community Thursday community call. Uh, if you missed it or didn't, we have trivia before this at 7.30 every week. Shout out to Tungsten for hosting that. And we are diving in here on a very exciting lineup of info for you. So uh, we had our ATX consensus link up today with Farouk and OSF. It was an awesome outing. Uh, we had a camera crew there on site. We hit some golf balls. We filmed some footage. Uh, can't wait to share that with you. It was a really great time and uh, really looking forward to the future of link ups this year. Uh, shout out to all the hard work the team has been doing to productize and, and build out the infrastructure for that. Um, if you're interested in hosting a link up in your local area, your region, you've got some buddies and you want to go golf and uh, you know make it special. Let us know, and we'll get that going. Uh, join your group on Clubhouse, and we can kick that off. Um, additionally, a note about the golf. The Lynx Signature Event Series. Uh, you may have noticed we posted some tee time options for some of the best courses in the country. Uh, we have two spots left at Plainfield. Uh, this is a top 50 course in the United States. It's in Edison, New Jersey. The tea time is June twenty sixth. Uh, Bez, are you are you playing that one? Unfortunately, that is one that I am not currently playing in. Um, but I'll be there on Monday at Somerset. But oh, nice. Not, uh, not playing for it, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I, I guess then that's the Jim's hosting that one, so it's an Jim, opportunity to go Jim, up. I think Jim is there, and maybe maybe see Bruce, but definitely Jim. Well, for an opportunity, go hit some golf balls with Jim on June 26th. Uh, that is posted in the NYC regional channel, uh, that link. So go sign up. That's an awesome, awesome course. I am jealous if you get to play there. Uh, if you have had your notifications turned off, if you haven't been on Twitter, uh, you may have noticed we are on a hot streak for partnerships, benefits, discounts, and uh, just awesome value that we, we keep going. The partnerships team is on fire. Uh, last week, we dropped a Betonardi partnership. So that's available in Clubhouse now. Awesome putters, wedges, uh, and also a new five iron benefit. All our global members get a $200 gift card. All leisure members get a $150 gift card. And all LGC members get a $100 gift card. So uh super cool stuff there the hoodies the often in demand soft goods hoodies have been restocked in a very very cool forest green um check those out if you haven't yet or if you missed the last hoodie drop uh and additionally we dropped the oh so then moving to this week uh we've already had three benefit announcements we had the wells fargo championship uh discount and so that's in charlotte north carolina at quail hollow may 3 may 3rd through 7th if you want to go uh to that we've got a ticket link in the members announcements we dropped skillist if you want to up your game uh we've got an awesome awesome benefit with skillist if you're an, a golf art fan we've got the lion loft benefit that's uh you know discounts and access to awesome pieces of golf art Spice up your office or your, your house with some of that. Additionally, there's $200 off their golf camp uh, event. So check that out if you want tickets to that. Um, I know that's a lot. We keep on moving. We're, uh, but I do want to kick it over to Bez to talk about the golf courses. What's the latest on Spay, on U.S. courses? 
Where are we? The current latest, I'll keep it short because I know we've got an exciting benefit to, to address, is that uh, we have officially signed a contract with the architect. So we have an architect lined up, closed. They will be on site uh, in a few days. They will be on site with Jim, myself, and maybe a couple other people in mid-June. And they will also be on site mid-July around the Open Championship and potentially around a member-related event at SPAY. Um, this firm has multiple top 100 credits to their name in the U.S. and globally. Um, I know we had intimated that we were talking to that level of architect, but we can officially say that uh, we've signed a contract with them and they will be improving this golf course immediately with new routings that we hope to uh, start putting into place by this time next year. So they're going to be uh, doing work probably from late summer, probably early fall through spring of next year. So that's, that's the latest uh, on SPAY. We haven't officially closed the transaction. We are hoping for that to be done hopefully by the community call next week. Um, and at that point, we will begin to make more formal announcements uh, around the names of the people that are going to be turning Spay into a fantastic destination golf course. Um, we've also been dropping some photos in the, in the Discord you may have seen from our uh, agronomist, our uh, agronomy consultant that we hired. Um, he has just for, I can't remember if I said this, but he's been, he's currently working with Tom Doak. He's worked with Gil Hance. He's worked with Mike Kaiser. Um, he was personally introduced to us by Bill Core back in February when we were doing diligence on Spay. Um, I don't think we could have picked a better person. He's already been on site multiple times. Um, he likes the course so much that he actually asked if we would consider letting him be part of the redesign effort. So um, at this point, um, all systems are go on spay, and we feel like we've surrounded ourselves with the best possible people to uh, to turn this into a great site. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll pause there. Absolutely killer! Can't wait to close and uh, hear some of these names uh, at next week's podium. This is uh, an awesome phase of the project. I'm so stoked. And again, a note for y'all: if you want to get involved. And some of the committee planning, uh, check members announcements, opt into the role. Uh, we've got the new committee channels and we're going to be rolling out meetings, but uh, feel free to contribute. Pinned in each one of those channels is the Notion doc. If you want to drop your ideas uh, across culture, hospitality, clubhouse, membership, uh, technology, you know, anything that interests you, right? This is our course. We're going to make it um, really, really special with the input and guidance and, you know, decision making that this community is. Uh, excelled that so far. So really, really stoked on that. Um, Nick, thanks for being on stage. Jordan, uh, let's move on to the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, we've got a big partnership announcement to drop for y'all tonight. I know Nick loves to tag Alpha. Um, why don't you guys take it away and let us know what's happening? So what's up, everybody? Good to be back up here and see all of your avatars below. Um, so yeah, so ex excited for this one. It's, uh, it's a big player in the golf space who I assume many of you are, are already aware of. Um, and, the, uh, and the tease for this was a big cat. And so our, uh, our newest partner, the big cat is our friends at Puma Golf. And so they are going to be giving us 15% off of pretty much everything on the Puma Golf specific website. Um, pretty wide range of gear that they cover. You know, they got some great shoes out there. So, so definitely go check out their footwear and, uh, and others as well. Um, you know, one thing I'll just, just ask here, kind of like with some of our partners, you know, 
if you guys are excited and want to communicate and, and tell anyone verbally about about the offer, that's that's great. But we're asking to kind of keep this one and the specific percentages um, off any social sharing that you guys are doing. So definitely get the word out. Um, it will be up here in the clubhouse shortly if uh, Greg has not already updated it. And uh, and yeah, so someone had kind of found the alpha earlier talking about Ricky Fowler. Great to see him back back up on top. And uh, yeah, another one in, in our belts as far as um, big time golf brand partnerships. So I can confirm that it's live now. Fantastic. Puma Golf, let's go. Awesome work, team. I definitely need some new golf shoes. Uh, and yeah, I need my Ricky swag up. I, I, I'm lacking pastels right now. So I think that's a, an awesome, awesome play and super excited to see y'all posting your pictures from the course dripping out in some of this new Puma swag. Jordan, do you have anything uh, anything else to add on the, that front? Uh, when can we expect the announcement? Should people be out retweeting and posting about, uh, you know, Puma? Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I started wearing Puma like 25 years ago. And I wanted to say I have a fun fact about Puma for you guys um, that I think about whenever I see their brand. So Puma was started by a guy. Uh, he and his brother started a, a footwear company in germany in the 1950s and they got into a huge fight and kind of had like a falling out his brother went on to start adidas and he started puma so adidas and puma were like rival companies founded by brothers which is i've always found a fascinating story look it up online and read the story behind that it's pretty cool um so we will be announcing this on socials tomorrow around midday so look out for that. And any retweets and shares would be amazing. Killer. Uh, glad we got Puma. Um, I'm, I'm currently wearing Adidas, though. So if we can talk to that brother or whoever's currently in charge. Uh, uh, not to <laughs> not to ask for too much on the day that we've announced our fourth or fifth you know, member benefit of the week. But um, you know, maybe that's a, a natural follow-up here if there's still some envy or, or options there. But awesome stuff. Puma's live in Clubhouse. Go check it out. Uh, of course, we can open it up for questions now. If you want to raise your hand, come up on stage, uh, have anything to ask about, feel free to come up. Uh, if not, you know, see you live in the chats, asking questions, talking about it. We can answer anything there as well. Give you all a second. Uh, while we're, we're waiting to see if anybody raises their hand, um, I can confirm that uh, OSF is, is going to be buying a Lynx membership uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, we played this morning for the link up. And uh, being the golf sickos that we are, we are going out tomorrow again at 7 a.m. sharp uh, to play even more golf because we can't stop. Um, so great times uh, at the link up. And yeah, it's uh, it's always fun to get on the course and see members. Uh, shout out to everybody who was out there today, uh, and everybody hosting link ups. Um, I did beat OSF and and Furrow. Uh, I think I I may have lost to Heath though. All right. Um, there's a question here. Do we receive any benefit back in Treasury for people using these codes, or is it just for us to have all of them at our disposal. So these codes are, uh, we don't take a cut, right? So these codes are, are direct discounts. Um, so we're, there's no uh, revenue coming back into, into Treasury from these. This is passed straight through to you, Freak, uh, for your Puma 2 enjoyment and to improve your golf game. Thanks for the question. Appreciate you all. Uh, Another hard, fast, quick Community Thursday call with uh, lots of great updates and announcements. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, we'll be here same time next week, as always. Uh, and we'll see you in the chat. Yeah.